What's one food you're thankful for? Burgers. Me too. What about you guys? Andrew, which president did Thanksgiving become an annual holiday? Uh, I don't know. I don't know this. It was uh, Abraham Lincoln. Oh. Yeah. I don't know anything about this. Big Penny. What is one thing that makes you smile? Food. I have to think! What is one teacher you are thankful for? Mr. Taylor. What year is most like widely considered the first year of Thanksgiving? Like what year? Eighteen twenty. Sixteen hundred. It was sixteen twelve. Oh, we was called oh, nice. nice. What are you most thankful for? Food. Life. <laughs> what is one teacher you're thankful for? Mr. Holt. We just need footage, buddy. All right. What food are you most thankful for? Mashed potatoes. <laughs> One place you were thankful for. Nice one I gave up. for. Um, my house that my mom paid for, but I claim that I paid for it, so nobody says anything. Alright, we're good. What do you guys smell like chocolate? Alright. What is one food you're thankful for? I'm bored of. Okay. So. Which president made Thanksgiving an annual holiday? I have no idea. It was Abraham Lincoln. Oh no, I have a tattoo of Abraham Lincoln. Do you? <laughs> he does. How long did the first Thanksgiving last? A week. A month. <laughs> it was three days. When what year was the green bean casserole considered Thanksgiving food? I'd have to say probably around when Kanye gets into office 2020. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I was correct.
Yo. <laughs> so here's Pat Rudder, U.S. veteran. Um, so, what, is, uh, what do you think veterans are going to do? Well, I spent uh, 30 years in the Army. I'm a Vietnam veteran, and uh, Veterans Day is an important celebration of all, for all veterans that have served this country, and that's what it means to me. All right, um, so how long have you guys been doing this uh, memorial for Veterans Day? Uh, this is our first year. Uh, oh, wow. we, we established this uh, field of honor five times a year. We're going to do it every year. Uh, we do it on Memorial Day, Flag Day, July the 4th, Labor Day, and Veterans Day. Are the number of flags here indicative of anything in particular? Well, yeah, each flag is dedicated to an individual. Uh, when we get through with the display here in about an hour, we'll hang tags uh, with uh, stars and stripes ribbons with a tag on the end of the ribbon uh, telling who the flag is dedicated to and why. For instance, uh, my best friend in college was killed in Vietnam, so that first flag up there has Mike Thomas's name on it, the fact that he won a Silver Star and he died in Phu Quang Province, Vietnam on September the 14th, 1969. As Mr. Rudder said, this was a friend of his who was killed in action in, uh, in Vietnam. So, we give him the honor of putting the first one up. So each of these flags are dedicated to an individual, but the individual doesn't necessarily mean that they're a veteran. Could be a parent, could be a teacher, could be somebody that's important in your life. But our objective is to expand this. We have 43 flags up here today. My objective is to expand this to 200 flags. The Rotary Club is a service organization. Uh, Rotary was founded in 1904. Uh, you know, I'm a member of the Greenport Rotary Club, but we provide six scholarships to Greenport High School students every year, for instance. And we uh, service the underserved here. We give money to CAST. Uh, we, we donate probably, I don't know, $29,000, $30,000, $31,000 a year to various uh, charities and people that deserve to be recognized. If you're interested in joining the Rotary Club, we meet every Tuesday morning at 7.45 at the Hellenic Snack Bar for breakfast. And uh, if you're interested, come, I'll buy you breakfast. <laughs> See you there. If you want to dedicate a flag, you can go to greenportrotary.org and you'll see the order form under the flag project. You'll see the order form online. It'll take your credit card and you can fill out who you want to dedicate it to and why.